These are some of the brushes that we'll be using this year. Brushes have three parts, the bristles, the ferrule, and the handle. When you hold onto a brush, you want to hold it with your fingers behind the ferrule of the brush. When you paint, you want to hold the bottom of your paper with your fingers. And when you're painting, you want to always pull the paint, paint from side to side or top to bottom, like that. Pretend like your brush is a tiny rake or a broom that's sweeping the page. Also when you paint, try to cover all the white spaces. Don't keep painting over the same area multiple times or you'll rip the paper. The last thing when you paint, check to see if there's any blobs or globs of paint on your paper. You're going to want to smooth those out so that your painting dries quicker. When you're done painting, wipe the extra paint off on a dirty paint rag or paper towel. Then rinse your brush in a tub of water. When you're done rinsing, squeegee the extra water off on the side and then dry your paintbrush off on a rag or a clean paper towel. Store your brushes flat to dry or bristle side up in a cup to dry so that the bristles stay flat. So a way to get your brushes extra clean if you want to keep them looking brand new is to use this method. Get a bar of soap and some water and what you're going to do is you're going to run your brush over your bar of soap and as you can see my soap is starting to turn a little pink that's because there was still paint left over inside my bristles that didn't get cleaned with just regular rinsing. So go back and forth until your soap is clear and there's no more color paint coming out. That means your bristles are clean. So then just give it a rinse, dry off your bristles, and then what I like to do is take a little bit of hair conditioner and just sort of run it through the bristles like that um, so that my bristles dry nice and crisp, just like a brand new brush. Some tips when you're painting. Always maybe have a piece of paper underneath your paper when you're painting, so in case you go off the page, it goes on the paper and not the table. But if it does accidentally go on the table, make sure you have a paper towel to clean it up with. I just take my paper towel and put it inside my wash water and get that paint up before it dries off the table. Also when I'm painting, I like to have a big towel kind of handy just in case there are any spills. Whoops! Like that, I can quickly take my towel and drop it down and soak up the water. 